You don't have to be a movie star to rock some fabulous Hollywood hair. Shelly Zeiss joins us from Great Cliffs with some fun advice on getting this gorgeous look. Welcome back to North Dakota Today. I'm very excited about these looks because you brought in beautiful models. What's the, uh, what do you call this type of hairstyle? So we just did a couple different things. Um, Right here, this is Dossie. This would just be kind of of a disheveled bob is what mm, we're going for on that. Okay. And then we have Nikki over here. And we have more of the Hollywood glam waves is what we were doing on her hair. Um, and so basically, I'm just going to kind of go through and explain how you can create this style at home. Okay. Instead of paying big bucks to go to the salon or just looking at all those celebrities and be like, how did they do that? So I can give you some tips on how to get that look at home. Love it. Yeah. So we can start with Dossie. So what we did with her, Dossie has fine hair, and sometimes people think, well, I can't do curls with fine hair because it'll just go flat or whatever. A um, couple of different things. You're going to want to use product, uh, something in there before you blow dry. A big thing that people do when they're um, trying to get volume, they get that volume product, and they don't realize you have to set it in. 90% of them you have to set in with a blow dryer to oh. get it actually to get volume. Okay. So with hers, we just did some disheveled curls. Now what we did is we used a flat iron. Super easy. You're going to take the pieces of hair. If you have finer hair, you want to use smaller pieces, and that way um, it gets more volume. The bigger pieces that you use, it's going to chunk it together, and you're not going to have as much volume. So you're simply going to take the hair in pieces. You're going to put your flat iron in there, and you're going to pull down as you rotate it, and that'll give you that longer kind of disheveled curl. So you're not going to get those Goldilocks curls that you're not really trying right. to achieve. And so is the size of your flat iron key on this? Or? Nope. You can use okay. any size flat iron. Obviously, if they're going to be bigger than this, your curls are probably going to get, um, if you've got shorter hair, you might want to use a little bit okay. less of a large one. But okay. this is plenty, plenty fine. But you did all of her hair with a flat iron. All of her hair with a flat iron. Yep. So you don't have a curling iron at home. You get a flat iron. It does double duty. You can straighten your hair. You can curl your hair. I love whatever. it. Yeah. I kind of like the disheveled look too because you know it gets. It doesn't have to be perfect. perfect right? Exactly. exactly. And yep. if it's windy, which it is here all the time, it's it's yep. okay. You kind of have that look. Perfect. Love it. And then so with Nikki Nicolette over here, what we did is I used a wand to curl her hair. You can use the wand, or you can also use if you don't have one, you can use a regular curling iron. When you're wrapping it though, just open up this and wrap it around just the barrel. Um, otherwise, if you wrap it around this, it can kind of give you kinks in your hair. Mm -hmm. So either way, if you don't have a wand, don't worry about it. You've got that. Um, now, this is kind of taking you back to that Hollywood glam style where you've got the nice ridges in the hair. It almost takes you back to those finger waves. Um, what we did with her is you're going to do, you're going to take the hair, you're going to section it off starting from the bottom and work your way up. And the key to this is just keeping all of the curls going the same direction. And you're going to just take the hair, oh, I'm starting from the top, but obviously you would start from the bottom. You're going to wrap it around your curling iron. And then as you twist the hair, you're going to twist your wrist. So kind of just an emotion where you can kind of see your wrist. And as you come over, you can see your, uh, the top of your hand. That's going to create those ridges in there and kind of make it look like old style finger waves. Um, then when you're done with that, when it's still hot, you want to kind of hold it up there until it until it um, cools off because that's really going to set it in. Great, great brush tips. it all out. Yeah. yeah, brush it all out. Oh, and so you do brush it too? Yep, yep. Then brush it out, and you can actually then take some clips and put them in those C shapings, and kind of put that all around your head and let those sit for about 10 minutes, and that's going to even set in those waves a little bit more. I love it. Okay, yeah. we still we have about 30 seconds left. Okay. I want you to once again kind of talk about the products that yep. you use. So what I use, the sexy hair products, um, I use the volumizing blow it up foam on Dossie's hair, and then again, I set that in with a blow dryer. Um, you're going to want a good hairspray. You don't need, this isn't just for fine hair. Though, nope, right? nope, so this can be for fine either hair. Either one. Exactly. It's okay. not too heavy for fine hair, but it's also not too, um, too light for thick hair. I use some of the powder play to give her some volume. Good hairspray again. Uh, Nicolette's hair, I use this Seal the Deal. This is a, from the Big Sexy line. Um, it really helps to give shine to the hair and take away the frizzies when you're doing it. So always gotta have a volumizing product, a good hairspray, something to protect from the heat. And actually for the month of June, all of our sexy products at Great Clips are $10.99. So you got wow. a couple days to get back in one of our salons in Fargo-Moorhead and grab some of those. Thank you so much, yeah. Shelly. Always great advice. I feel like we're getting little secrets of the uh, the pros. So, and you ladies look beautiful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Stay with us. Coming up next, your daily dose of motivation.